Namaste and welcome. Uh, I am Kunal Pandit. I am the host of uh, the podcast Ancient Echoes, uh, which is a podcast on our ancestral uh, divine practices, legends, and cultures. And uh, we are here at uh, at a secret place around Mysore. And uh, I am here with my guru, Guruji, Guru Pashupati. Uh, we teach Hanuman Gada at uh, our Akhada at Hanuman Gada. and uh, very welcome to this podcast welcome guruji thank you kunal uh, in this podcast uh, it's all about escaping urban captivity hmm. uh, where we find ourselves trapped in a lot of different prisons of our own making in the urban environment be it from uh, pollution to radiation coming from so many things in our modern environments and traffic sounds and sound pollution and not having uh the elements of nature in our life this podcast is going to help you to frame yourself in a way that will allow you to do these things like coming out and being in nature and uh, learn from nature and adapt and inculcate those things in your life mm. so this is the solution to a lot of broken systems of the urban environment like the education system like the job systems like the uh, family systems and so many broken systems that we find ourselves in and uh, we'll give you solutions how you can create this environment in your life where you are not affected by these broken systems so much and you have enough energy and health to take on the future like hanuman took on the problems of his future and uh, in these testing times uh, we hope that uh, this podcast that uh, is based on ancestral divine practices gives us solutions to our uh, day to day stresses day to day question uh, the problems that we find ourselves in an urban environment so guru pashupati has been very kind to share his knowledge so far uh, in our previous two podcasts which were uh, really awesome if you haven't checked them out you should go and check it out and uh, the wisdom of hanuman and the practices of hanuman and the knowledge of these uh, great vanaras mm. of our past uh, through him it's a medium for us to also learn and because they were the masters of this environment they were the masters of those times and uh, this is a very uh, rare occasion that we even get to learn things like this in, in today's times in today's podcast we'll be looking at uh, some essential attitudes and attributes mm. of hanuman and how we can uh, learn something very unique that we don't know already there's so much of uh, knowledge about hanuman outside but still uh, <coughs> this is these are gems that you don't find unless you're learning Uh, in a gurukulam from a guru like guru pashupati in an akhada and you are living it actually instead of just consuming the knowledge so we'll be focusing on problems of weak character problems of uh, weak self image mm. we'll be covering uh, the problems of a weak conscience mm. so and also how solving them can help us grow into a better version of ourselves mm. So let's get started let's begin So my first question was uh, on uh, the attitudes of Hanuman mm. uh, what what are these attitudes of Hanuman Do you know that Hanuman doesn't have courage You heard Veer Hanuman all the time right yes. but he needs encouragement if you encourage him he has courage mm. otherwise he gets frozen mm. Is that relatable Yes because this is natural that as human beings we need encouragement before we get empowerment and you need courage before you can get power but that courage cannot come based only on you deciding courage which comes based only on your decision is called foolhardiness okay so a lot of people indulge in foolhardiness and they don't have enough of encouragement when you have encouragement from people there's no end to what you can do and that is one of the biggest characteristics of hanuman which everyone misses as they make a cartoon out of his complex yeah. caric- uh, like a caricature out of his his complex character mm. uh 
people look at hanuman as some kind of uh, marvel character now mm-hmm. or something but he's not <laughs> it's a very deep psychological study mm-hmm. of how a human being can be happy mm-hmm. hanuman is one of the models for you to be happy rama is definitely not a model for you to be happy because mm-hmm. poor rama never was happy in his whole life he never got what he wanted mm-hmm. hanuman always got what he wanted because he didn't want anything So that's the second characteristic. Mm. Want what you get, don't get what you want. Mm. And be powerful enough to make something out of it. Mm. That means train hard. You don't see that Hanuman became so powerful without his training. Mm. He trained his, Surya Dev was his guru in uh, all the martial arts mm. and he learned it from him and he learned how how to use the gada which is a very special gada okay this is this is part of the weapons called pinaka not this one but hanuman's gada mm. <laughs> which is out of shiva's arsenal mm. the bow called pinaka the trishul is called pinaka he has a spear called mm. uh, pinaka he has an axe called pinaka mm. and the gada called pinaka is the one that uh, hanuman has and hanuman carries mm. so it's basically a shivling mm. we call it stumbling mm. because it's like a pillar but it's a shivling okay mm. what does this mean shivling means symbol of shiva mm. this is a symbol of virility it's a symbol of strength it's a symbol of being up to the task mm. it's a symbol of masculinity it's a symbol of uh, physical power it's a symbol of uh, so many things right the gada which uh, uh, lakshmi carries durga carries is different gada it's not this is different this is different that's a symbol of femininity hmm. but this one hanuman's is a symbol of masculinity okay but it doesn't matter hmm. uh, the virility is what we should be looking for See in earlier days men used to be uh, a lot a lot more strong women also used to be a lot more strong cuz we had to go through these kind of landscapes fend off wild animals mm. gather our food hunt our food grow our food all about life was all about survival mm. so we had a very big uh, uh, capacity for survival and then we said we don't want to do that we don't want to just survive we want to thrive so then we started building more and more complex systems forgetting the basis of how it works it's like you got a cart okay it's got wheels and we push it and then it rolls okay great and you want to build a motor car it's basically a cart with an engine okay but if they said no let's start over why should we have wheels don't lose the basics because it's going to wheels will help you to roll off stuff you know you, you, hovercrafts also can't go over everything but wheels can go over many more things hovercraft can float on 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 the water but it's not practical and not uh, energy efficient mm. like this is so now you built something on top of it and it's functional but if you did away with it and said why can't we have something else instead of wheels mm. uh, it's not going to work mm. at this point because wheels were fundamental for things to roll mm. so similarly like that there are fundamentals about life and also in our character which means the self image we have of ourselves becomes our subtle body so when you can adopt when you practice hanuman gada you learn the methods of how to adopt hanuman's five faces mm. into your body mm. this is advanced this is for advanced students i can't teach it to just anyone mm. but you'll be able to adopt all his birds so one one face faces upwards which is high griva and then there are there's one facing the east there's one facing the west uh, the eagle faces uh, the east and uh, which is garuda the varaha faces the west i think no oh, the varaha faces yeah, the north the right. north oh. varaha faces the north and the south is uh, who is it simha narsimha in the south so these are the five faces the horse varaha on the side is uh, garuda 
on, on this side is Narsimha and at the back is uh, oh no wait at the back is Narsimha and who's on this side Hanuman sorry Garuda is on the east Hanuman's on Hanuman's on the east Garuda's on the west now I got it okay so Hanuman Hanuman's own face hmm. that is a kind of characteristic hmm. that is all the power of the monkeys hmm. in the world that means the ability to live in society the ability to work together towards something and uh, the ability to climb anything get get what you want to gather and also to hunt the hunting and gathering abilities of monkeys give them a certain level of agility and uh, a certain framework uh, physical framework physical agility so you start to get that if you inculcate hanuman's subtle body or sukshma sharira into you okay but if you get high grievers you'll get wisdom high griva is the one who taught shri vidya to the world he taught the entire knowledge of the goddess to the world right so you want you if you integrate that face of hanuman into yourself you will have access to all that you will start understanding all that if you get the garuda face you learn everything about death ah garuda is facing south then west is west is narsimha i'm sorry about that but if you get the narsimha face then you get the ability to solve complex problems because narsimha itself is a complex solution for a problem hmm. that uh, hiranyakashipu made you know conditions that he put a set of complex conditions that was an answer that it doesn't fit any of the conditions and i'm going to kill you hmm. yeah, he said people with on un- under all these conditions i should not be killed hmm. and narsimha did that so you you want to have a move that's smarter that ev- than everybody else and don't expect that's the power of narsimha hmm. and also the sharp claws it's a, like a sharp intellect gets to the heart of the matter and pulls it out you know you can dismember all your excuses mm. when you have that lion power with you mm. okay mm. and then uh, the north facing is varaha which is uh, you know bhu varaha swami mm. he gives wealth mm. because earth is wealth and uh, the varaha is married to bhu devi mm. so uh, all her wealth comes if if uh, you can understand that subtle body so what do i mean by a subtle body you know all of hanuman's lessons are about you and the condition of your subtle body mm. hanuman never bothered about the condition of your physical body mm. the reason is that the physical body will take its automatic shape according to the subtle body mm. if the subtle body looks terrible mm. <laughs> like broken and leaking energy everywhere mm. then that person is going to be in bad physical shape even if their external shell is okay their internal organs will have problems mm. okay so our subtle body determines the condition and the abilities of our physical body hmm. so to learn hanuman gada is to upgrade your subtle body huh? so that's a spiritual practice of hanuman sadhana yep upgrade your subtle body till you become hanuman look hanuman is chiranjeevi he has purpose in life he is waiting now for kalki to come hmm. he solves the biggest problem on earth at any given time okay so that's the power of hanuman and if you start to uh, to take even 1% of that as your subtle body you'll be so fabulous among human beings because that's how powerful hanuman is and uh, without practicing the gada you can't get hanuman into the subtle body so that's what i mean by subtle body look i'm moving this i'm avoiding the mic here how i'm not even thinking about it but i will not hit the mic why is that because awareness what is being aware look to feel something is okay but to avoid something also you have to feel it no hmm. to avoid something you have to feel it yes or no yes if you do not sense it at all then you'll walk into it hmm. how how do you sense that that's called the subtle body hmm. the subtle body is able to sense things hmm. even when your physical senses are somewhere else hmm. the subtle body can bring more consciousness into your life where you start to understand how things work how do relationships work how does making money work how does my health work 
how does living in a society work hmm. you know how does justice work in the world actually these kind of things you'll start understanding when you have a very big intellect if you get one drop of hanuman's agriva head you'll have the intellect to understand all this hmm. So, because of the blessings of Hanuman, I was able to develop these five heads, mm. and with these five heads, I can solve any problem of my life. Mm. It's a subtle body thing, but you have to train hard for it. It's not coming easy, mm. because the habit of uh, losing energy is too strong in people. Mm. You need to train hard. Mm. When you train hard, and then you raise your energy, and then you're like, "Oh my God, I need to maintain this," mm. and then you go meet someone. who had given you something to look after one year back mm. and you lost it mm. and then they start accusing you saying that maybe it's something important okay some certificate you, you lost my certificate now what am i going to do how am i going to do the course again mm. okay and all the energy is gone you're like oh shit i ruined this person's career energy goes in guilt mm. so things like this should be avoided because what are they doing for one year mm. justice system you don't know whether something is just or not mm. and that's why you lose energy mm. but man we live in the world of the divine mother you know she is just mm. so just because you don't understand the justice system you say that things are unjust but you know what justice is power i don't know a single powerful person to whom injustice has been done mm. why is that the rule is for justice to exist you should have power why can't you understand that you are against the justice system of nature you make your own human interpretation of it that's not how nature works and nature does not care whatever you make and try to impose on nature she will live as she has to live she's wild and free she'll do what she wants she is the real wild and free right nature mother nature bhu devi she'll do whatever she wants but if you have power she will give you justice that means you have to have a powerful subtle body mm. so wh- what do you think power is if you think it's a certificate signed by someone and you'll have power no it's an energy man it's an aura it's charisma okay if you go to a great leader and then you stand near them also you will feel their energy mm. subtle body If you want to, you want to rise up in life, then you build your subtle body. If you want to, like, just grow old and die, then don't build your subtle body. Yeah. That will happen automatically. Yeah. You'll grow old and die because you ha- you don't have this knowledge of Hanuman, yeah. Chiranjeevi knowledge, right? How yes. to be immortal? I'm t- I just told you the secret. How to be immortal? Don't lose energy. Yeah. The more energy you lose, the more you will become like you. Nature gives you energy in abundance to sustain your body forever. but you lose it in various human justice systems mm. human body is special it can be immortal it's not like other mammals mm. but there'll be people laughing at that as well like they know anything when i say something like that then they're like yeah let's laugh about it you know <laughs> have they met an immortal no have they learned anything about the science of immortality no according to science immortality is very much possible you just need to produce more energy into your body system than you expend and that energy the field of energy will take care of you it will rebuild everything builds according to the field is what we are understanding now not according to dna everything in your body builds according to field so even if you have a genetic problem it just fixes it's not the ultimate genes are not the ultimate hmm. uh what do you call it? fundamental genes are not fundamental energy is fundamental hmm. you know if energy changes you will genetically change things will change that's what's happened with my guru he's 2700 2800 years old i can't hmm. keep track i'm just 48 and i feel like an embryo man hmm. so yeah that's truly how i feel so there's a lot to learn there's a lot to learn there's a lot to learn but immortality is a simple lesson mm. don't waste energy that is hanuman's continence mm. brahmacharya mm. the act of not wasting energy is called brahmacharya the act of not having sex is called um abstinence 
No, no, it's it's a sexual preference. Asexual. Oh. Only they can do this abstinence business. If you're asexual, you can do abstinence. Mm. Okay, it's not of much value because it does not build your sexual energy. Mm. So abstinence is of absolutely zero value because even to build your sexual energy, you must be sexually engaged mm. in either acts of masturbation or sex. Mm. And that's where your energy, by not throwing it out there, that's when through orgasm, you build that energy into your body hmm. and that's how you can generate a lot more energy than you spend okay hmm. it's called virya labha hmm. so brahmacharya when you practice the virya labha kriya you are called a brahmachari because hmm. now you're no longer losing energy hmm. that means your energy field can create anything hmm. you're walking the path of brahma hmm. brahmachari charya of brahma is Brahmacharya. The Charya means how how Brahma walked. So we are walking with Brahma. Mm. We are creating our own lives. Mm. A Brahmachari should be creating their own life. It's not about no fab. Mm. People have made Brahmachari no fab. Yep. No, they are not the same. We need to reclaim this word. Please don't use it cheaply. Mm. Brahmachari is the power of Hanuman. And it is the secret of Hanuman to be mortal. Do not lose more energy than you spend. So simple. What will happen? You'll keep on building energy. Then after some time your body becomes like a light. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes my guru just vanishes because his body is like light. And sometimes he appears. When he's kind to you, he brings his body into visible light. Mm -hmm. Visible light range. Then you can see him. I can see far beyond the visible light range. So I can see him even uh, in many other ranges, but he can vanish out of my range as well. That depends on energy, right? You want to move... Uh, what's the difference between ranges? Mm. No? Just frequency. Mm. Frequency is energy. Mm. So that's what it is. So energy comes as waves. Energy comes as a field. Energy also can can come as... Uh, particles like photons like in uh, quantized amounts like a photon energy is mysterious isn't it yes. it is formless it has form also mm. it is both saguna and nirguna mm. Mm. wow an energy field is nothing it's nirguna but then the things it throws out, you know what it is. Mm. Universes. The universes are being thrown out of an energy field. Mm. Time is being thrown out of an energy field. Mm. The dimension of time is being thrown out of an energy field. Mm. When you change your energy field, you can change your experience of time. <coughs> These are the secrets which you learn in Hanuman Gada. Okay. I'm not going to teach you to... This is not what we teach. You don't need a teacher for that. Okay. If you want to get down into really learning how to build your energy field, it's a lot of inner work. So people who are ready to do that inner work, for that inner work you need to be in the outer world, you need to be connected and plugged in into nature. That's how you can learn it. People want to sit and meditate inside the cabins. It's not going to happen. And it's not meditation. You have to train your body not to be weak in any way. In every way you have to train your body to be strong. Mm. That's what Hanuman Gada is. Mm. People think they can buy a piece of wood and then become a teacher of Hanuman Gada. Mm. You can teach Gada. You can teach restless Gada, the great Gama. Mm. That is your Itihasa, mm. your legacy. But claiming the legacy of Hanuman, please have some achievement before you do that. Mm. Know something. Know some sadhana. So that's the problem. So all of the secret knowledge has gone down underground mm. and then now we have to revive it and we have to teach it and I'm not eager to teach it to just anyone. Mm. I've done that mistake in the past. Like, you know something called fool's gold, right? Mm. Pyrite. If you take a piece of pyrite and take a piece of gold and show it to a fool, he doesn't know the difference. Yes. Fool's gold. Every gada is so beautiful that the fools are fooled by it. Mm. They don't understand what the responsibility, the training, 
the dedication that goes into bearing one of these as a weapon it's not for fun it is a spiritual object it is a stumbling ah its puja has to be done by working out with it not by anything else your sweat is the abhishek on it as a very special kind of abhishek no because it's your hard work coming in yeah <laughs> your blood and your sweat that's the abhishek of us my next question was uh, why is it uh, why should someone cultivate this what what should someone have in mind before cultivating this be ready to build the most beautiful subtle body ever that you ever had in your life be ready to build an energy field in which you feel it's not so hard i can do it of energy field of encouragement like i said be ready to build that people come around you they should feel yeah life's not so hard i just i feel so when i'm standing here i get that feeling mm. be an example of that like a crystal keep your vibration like a crystal mm. always the same mm. unflinching in the face of danger basics you don't let go of basics are basics with the high griva head you get the knowledge of devi and you understand how the universe is always supporting you <laughs> you are the edge of the you are the tip of the spear of the universe it's already launched you mm. you are the tip of the spear get yourself sharp to be that tip you know that's what it is this is spirituality right mm. singing bhajans is bhakti movement that is not spirituality Hmm. there is the warrior spirituality okay there is the other people ordinary people spirituality which hmm. is just begging hmm. begging okay but the warrior spirituality is sadhana hmm. <laughs> everyone else say the bhakti bhakti karke they beg hmm. yes bhakti is important it's not that it's not important but hmm. it's not the end of everything hmm. what about kriya shakti why will that god be impressed by you what did you do what are your kriyas to impress the god hmm asha hanuman teach you uh, treat you special hmm. what do you think of his character hmm he sits and worries about each and in the world no he goes and answers uh, everybody's he goes and answers everybody's prayers not really people think sankat mochan hanuman right when i'm in sankat i will go to hanuman and uh, i will uh, beg in front of him begging is my sadhana hmm. so he will throw 5 rupees to the beggar that's what he'll throw hmm. he'll not sit you in his lap and and teach you something amazing hmm. under his guidance hmm. like a child he'll teach you hmm. if you are able to build that sukshma sharira impress him with your hard work and endurance and overcoming your obstacles not wasting your virya which is your energy these are all the kriyas that you do people masturbating seven times a day cannot be hanuman sadaks you, you should not ejaculate like at the young age you can ejaculate maybe four times a month but mm. as you get older make it two times a month mm. and then stop it entirely mm. you don't need to do that because you can have your orgasm experience even before the ejaculation so you never have to really ejaculate for men semen is not uh, is is very highly charged uh, electrically but for women it's not that charged electrically so they don't really lose it for women it is the menstrual blood that is highly electrically charged mm. and they lose that so a practitioner of hanuman gada has to know how to take that charge and store it and send it to the brain and the spinal cord and various other parts of your body instead of wasting it women also need to learn this every period they lose their energy okay so that is how men lose their energy by ejaculation women lose their energy by the period because they don't know these practices of conserving energy the brahmacharya practices Is it all very secret, man? Mm. You don't get it on the internet. 
and i can't teach it just like that on the internet mm. you know you need to be a trusted student and you need to practice mm. then you'll get it and you need my guidance then only you'll get it yes everybody is trying on their own a guru has the power to bless someone but we should not misuse his power by blessing fools because mm. when we bless fools they go and make destruction in the world mm. so when the right kind of students come that's when i'm ready to teach all of these things right mm. i'm waiting i'm seeing like how are the people mm. if i get really good students i'm happy to teach and uh, it's just not the right time mm. to reveal all these things yes right? but i feel it's the right time because my guru said do it mm. now if my guru says do it i'll do it mm. that is why we started all these things right because i would be very quiet about this for a long time yes i never spoke about the gada at all mm. i was doing karla katte and things like that mm. but i never really spoke about what i know about the gada until i started understanding people are getting ready <laughs> they have the fed up and they need encouragement right now so if you need encouragement right now this is where you start you start in our basic program and you know you'll get the encouragement that you need it is the most positive community ever yes so i wanted to ask you about uh, hmm. some of the names and attributes of hanuman hmm. uh, the first one being chiranjeevi you hmm. already um, gave a hint of it earlier but hmm. uh, can you please explain in more detail yeah chiranjeevi means immortal yeah why does someone be immortal why why should someone like i explained is because you you lose less energy than you make then your life continues the shakti which devi has given to you to control is called pran shakti mm. so your pran shakti has to increase mm. that is why the, a lot of the hanuman practice is pranayam mm. control prana direct prana circulate prana you can control prana it's an energy mm. how to contain prana mm. that's what pranayam is yam means to contain mm. so pranayam there is something we have have to learn and practice to become immortal mm-hmm. if we don't have yam on our, our prana then mm-hmm. if it's uncontrolled prana mm-hmm. ayam prana then you will die mm-hmm. your prana will leave you everyone who dies today is dying because they're producing less energy than they are spending mm-hmm. it's like how you go bankrupt right you spend more money than you have you'll be bankrupt mm-hmm. that's like being dead mm-hmm. you want to be immortal you always have money in the bank will be immortal mm. that money is pran shakti mm. when when they say pran gaye what does it mean matlab pran gaya to what what does it mean mm. Un, huh? yes. unhone pran tyag diye oh. yes. you know wh- when we say things like this it means the person gave up his prana the mm. person lost his prana yeah. pran jaye par vachan na jaye mm. it's other way around वचन जाए तो जाए बिकॉज यू आर स्टूपिड एट द टाइम अपॉलोजाइज लेकिन प्राण वेस्ट नहीं करना चाहिए डो नॉट वेस्ट योर प्राण ओके बट पीपल आर बिजी थ्रोइंग अवर द प्राण लाइक आई टोल्ड यू राइट समन कम्स अबाउट द सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम वन ईयर अगो एंड देन जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल वन ऑफ द मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ हाउ माई स्टूडेंट्स कैन लूज प्राण विच आई गॉट बट दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टूडेंट शी डेंट लूज प्राण आई एम क्वेट प्राउड ऑफ वॉट शी डिड she just said this is making me feel like i'm going to lose prana from my lower chakras mm. you know where your self images mm. swadhishtana chakra she, she felt like she's going to lose prana like no i worked so hard in the yoga class today morning to accumulate this shakti and i'm not going to lose it so she called and said listen it's been one year a lot of things have happened in my life I'm sorry I can't look after myself and you at the same time I'm barely looking after myself so please fix your problem you can go to my house and check or I am not living there anymore mm. she told him she told her that and the other person is like okay and then maintained her energy like ha huh, equal because i said in the morning's class like let's see how many of you can keep this until next morning's class that's when you build energy it's the same with hanuman gada can you build can you keep the energy that you did with today's practice 
can you keep that inside your body until the next one and then not get deflated mm. by something your spouse said mm. or some injustice in the world mm. or some guilt that you're feeling because you feel you have been in just like nobody understands the justice system mm. but they're busy like experts judging mm. this judging is not for you it's mm. for devi she created the justice system it's so simple mm. those who have pran shakti have justice it's so simple you have power you have justice people who have power have pran shakti go and check okay you know, i have met I, i i met gangsters i met politicians and i met spiritual heads who all enjoy a large amount of power and the pran shakti is very high but a lot of them leak it they keep leaking it so somebody is caught in some scandal sexual scandal because he leaked his energy that way somebody else gets caught in something else like murders and whatever <laughs> so they do all this stuff and leak their energy because they don't have gurus nobody to teach them but those are the natural energetic people naturally blessed by their ancestors to have energy and that's how they become these big leaders etc mm-hmm. but whatever you are i don't care how much energy you have naturally it's what you earn and develop and it's what you don't lose that's what is going to stay with you right mm. it's great to have energy to begin with mm. and a lot of people have fabulous stories of how they used to do all these things when they were young mm. but what happened to you now man mm. and young matlab when he, when they were in school and college mm. and now they're just 30 okay <laughs> what happened to you now like oh, i don't know i don't i don't feel that anymore you know why cuz you must be hit two times a day and you lose energy there in lust and then you go and lose energy somewhere else you know in expectations some other like stupid expectations and then guilt guilt about oh somebody told me that i have done a great injustice to them oh shit somebody is not an expert in justice system no if they had had the power pran shakti they wouldn't have allowed this injustice to happen it wouldn't happen people think that this is too simplistic a solution but it's the ancient solution it's the one that's worked for everyone and hanuman was one of those who practiced it how to be in alignment that's why he has five heads man mm. people don't know everything about hanuman mm. how did panchmukhi hanuman come out you know mm. the story is there mm. in the puranas there are different puranas there are a lot of opposing stories about hanuman also mm. different versions are there you know just as many versions of the ramayana are there that many versions of hanuman stories are there mm. so it's not really about the stories you need direct contact with the lineage mm. you know i was very fortunate that hanuman blessed me directly and i saw him physically mm. in the himalayas and like i told you in the previous podcast the only thing only prayer you should make to god is i'm too small to know what's good for me mm. so please give me what do you think is the best for me the best thing that you can give you give me and then i just lay down lay down on the floor flat mm. prostrated towards hanuman and then i started getting all this knowledge mm. so much knowledge about health immortality uh physical training and uh, science around it the science around it this guy called Jack Cruz who talks about the real science of the sun which is what Hanuman was also talking about the science of the sun and now it's the science of the, the modern science of the sun ancient mm-hmm. hanuman surya namaskar is the ancient science mm-hmm. of the sun mm-hmm. uh, it, it is is a very secret practice hanuman surya namaskar mm-hmm. he's credited with uh, making the surya namaskar mm-hmm. but who knows hanuman surya namaskar nobody knows mm-hmm. okay the surya namaskar they're doing is just a workout the secrets i started learning when i went to the mountains and i realized all the yoga that we are now teaching is just reinvented rehashed stuff from whatever little bits and pieces they found but it's been preserved in the mountains in the himalayas because mm. uh, the yogis live in places where the british couldn't go <laughs> they just couldn't go mm. you need magical powers to go to places where actual yogis live mm. 
Oh, yogis are the magical beings of the Himalayas. When you say yogi in the Himalayas, it means something else. Mm-hmm. If you say yogi in Bangalore, for example, it means somebody who's kind of done TTC. a TTC of 200 hours and knows the names of a few asanas mm-hmm. and somehow is very flexible. Mm-hmm. Naturally flexible people become yoga instructors and they call themselves yogis and yoginis. Mm-hmm. Yogini has a very uh, different meaning, man. Yeah. There are 64 yogasanas which Gorakshnath taught and each one of them is associated with one yogini. Mm. It's a shakti in that asana. Mm. Who what do the people know? Nothing they know. What mm. is he trying to teach me? Mm. So, I'm really looking for people who have, who don't have this mix of horrible knowledge inside and then they want me to pour my knowledge on top of that. Mm. It will not mix. You go clean your pot and come. Mm. Then I can give you some good soup, yogic soup. Mm. Otherwise, it will mix with your last birth's mm. lousy soup and it will become some black toxic thing, mm. which I don't want. Mm. So that's why I kind of, um, my only prayer is that I get the kind of students that I'm ready to teach mm. and it will work. <laughs> that's my prayer. Mm. Okay. And uh, that's why if you connect with these messages and all, then reach out. No, if, if, if you're, if it's not stirring anything, then you don't contact me. Mm. Just because you like Hanuman, don't contact. Mm. But you should feel, man, this is an opportunity that mm. I can, I can learn something mm. from somebody who can sp- speak it in plain language. Mm. Then you come. Then I'm happy to teach you. Mm. Anyway. That's about learning Hanuman Gada. Hmm. Yeah. What, it, what, it, what else did you ask me? Uh, the next name is uh, Maruti. Maruti. Hmm. What does it mean? What does it signify? The Maruts are were meant to be stronger than Indra. So, Kashipa's wife, Duti, his own mother, Indra's mother, hmm. and the mother of all the Deva, Devas, she became pregnant with a being more powerful than Indra. Mm. And that was Marut. And then Indra threw his Vajra at her womb, destroyed that into like 11 Maruts or something. Mm. Then, but they also work together. Mm. When they work together, they are called a single Marut, which is Vayu, Vayu Bhagwan. Like the wind is Marut. But you see how the wind is? It's not continuous. Hmm. So Marut comes and goes like that. Okay? Mm-hmm. And since Hanuman was born by the spiritual prayers to this Vayudev, hmm. Vayudev could concentrate his energy hmm. inside the womb of Anjani and uh, the embryo that was growing over there, he filled it hmm. with uh, you know, Vayu, Pran Shakti. Okay? But Pran Vayu is slightly different. But Pran Shakti is the energy field. So why is that? By looking at the the wind is not the Vayu. It's the potential differences that are the, the Vayus, and that's those are the Maruts. They create potential differences where stuff can blow. Okay, and it's fascinating. So Hanuman came out as Maruti. Maruti means son of Marut, and uh, he was. Uh, like um, like his 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 father is actually Kesri, mm. but Vayu kind of enhanced him into this super being, mm. super vanara being. Mm. I can't say superhuman because he's not superhuman. Mm. He's not human. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So superhuman being, they were not expecting that, but that happened because of the prayers that Anjani did to Vayu Bhagwan. Mm. She knew certain rituals. That's what they say. That's one legend. Uh, there are many legends about the birth of Hanuman. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's why he's called Maruti. And Hanuman has the power to to change the values in your body. The potential differences in your body, he can just mm. change by thinking about it. Mm. And if he blesses you, then that's it. Mm. You'll be like, you'll be very stable. Mm. And people don't understand these happen by blessings. Everyone thinks that they get fabulous and amazing and immortal and everything by some hard work. 
Mm. At the end, it's some immortal being who has so much energy gives you some grace, and that's mm. it done. Mm. You'll become immortal too. Mm. No, you just want a seed from there. Mm. So Rama, Lakshmana, Shatugna, and Bharat were born, right? Mm. Uh, Rama and Lakshman, uh, I think Shatugna and Lakshman are twins, mm. and uh, Bharat is the second o- older child. Mm. So. They they born from the three wives of uh, Dashrath, mm. and Bharat was born from Kaikai. Mm. Uh, Lakshman and Sh- and Shatrujna were, were born from Madri, I think, mm. and there was Kaushalya who was Ram's mother. Mm. Mm. They did a, made a kheer to create these special godlike beings. They wanted godlike sons, mm. so they made a special kheer. And it was, I think, Rishi Agastya or someone. I'm not sure about the Rishi. So they made the kheer and then they gave it to these mm-hmm. ladies. But what happened is, a bird came down, snatched some of it, and then was flying overhead, and then it dropped it also, and Anjani ate it. Oh. <laughs> so then she got pregnant with Hanuman. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, the story that Ram and everybody they came out of the same energy. Mm-hmm. So he was actually like Ram's lost brother, mm. something like that. Yeah. Brother from another mother. Yeah. Yeah. So there are many legends of how Hanuman was born. Many, many. It's not one or two. Mm. Yeah, one one legend is Maruti. That's how he got the name Maruti. Mm-hmm. The next uh, name was Bajrangbali. Mm. Uh, can you tell us? That more is about a blessing from Indra actually. So Indra had attacked him on his Hanu. Which is jaw with his vajra, mm. thunderbolt. Indra, is, Indra and the Maruts then later started to work together. Mm. Even though Indra tried to like <laughs> mm. uh, tried to do a genocide of them, <laughs> like try to kill them, <laughs> still they were working together. So that's that's a cool thing about divine relationships. Mm. It only works on power. Mm. So they didn't lose their energy after that because they're gods. If they lose their energy, they'll become humans. Mm. So they didn't lose their energy even after all this attempt. It's like cool, okay, mm. cool, okay, cool. And then they started helping each other, and the Maruts and Indra worked together to create Vajra. Mm. So Vajra is something Indra carries in his hand. When he throws it, the Maruts go and create the potential difference, and boom, knocked out poor Hanuman, and Hanuman fell dead uh, on the earth. That's when Vayu withdrew everything. Then every god came and said sorry, and they revived him. Brought him back to life. Brahma came and made him Chiranjivi, mm. and uh, the kid is like, "Wow, okay, cool." He doesn't even know what all uh, powers he's getting, right? Mm. And then one of the powers was that the Vajra which harmed you will never be able to harm you. Mm. So he is a Vajrangi, mm. Vajrangi, mm. which means he can he can take a lightning bolt on his chest and he'll be okay. Mm. That's that's the kind of physical mm-hmm. body he has. He will ground that energy into the floor without harming his body mm-hmm. in any way. Nothing will burn. Mm-hmm. The material is so conductive of his body that mm-hmm. even lightning just passes through him without any problem. That's Vajrangi. Yeah. Bali means strong. Mm-hmm. So Vajrang Bali is somebody who, who can receive lightning mm-hmm. and ground it. So in a battle between Thor and Hanuman, Thor will lose. Because mm-hmm. Hanuman will just grind uh, like <laughs> ground all his lightning. Yeah. That's it. Finished. Thor has uh, grounding issues. Yes, <laughs> his grounding is broken. Yeah, that's why he can produce the lightning, right? Yeah. Mm. So that is Bajrang Bali. That means he's so powerful, nobody can defeat him. Not even lightning and thunder. Mm. Trees get split in half in uh, Bijli Mahadev Temple. Mm. Yeah. In Kulu. Big Devda tree split in half by lightning. You mm. can see it when you go in the jeep, like this, shaking over those roads. You can see this mm. tree split in half. Mm. And Hanuman, nothing. He probably get more electrically charged after that. Mm. Yeah, Hanuman's energy is something else. I can't explain it to you. It's a world of its own. The next attribute was uh, Anjaneya. Uh, which like literally might translate to Anjani's son. Yeah. 
but does it also have yes it means meaning? the one born in the night okay as well so he was born at night hanuman okay when is hanuman jayanti i don't know it's what kind march. of march yeah but it's an, uh, is it a new moon or a full moon i'm not yeah. sure but hanuman was born in, uh, in the night hmm. most probably in a new moon i'm not sure about it you'll have to verify it refers to a dark mysterious power that moved into anjani's womb mm. Mm. and maybe that's why her name became anjani as well mm. which can mean night anjani one of the meanings mm. <coughs> so everything dark mysterious is actually a tamasic power mm. you know that's very important people think that they 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 don't need tamasic power but we you know what sattva is the control of rajas and tamas that's it there is no separate thing called sattva mm. so sattva is your uh, ability to move as much as you need and rest as much as you need movement is rajas rest is tamas mm. so you're constantly doing that mm. the way you're holding your spine is sattva there is movement can you see there is movement but there is stillness as well rest as well and there is very controlled existence there like the waves of the ocean the waves are going through you you have to be, be, make your awareness subtle it's a very low frequency wave so mm-hmm. don't expect to feel it so easily but you know people who practice craniosacral therapy they can feel these waves mm-hmm. they have big names for it mm-hmm. yeah we just call it kundalini shakti mm. snake power so things are moving like snakes within us mm. yeah those are called the nadis and in the the nadis are undulating with movement like uh, these reeds that we see around here mm. like these grass right mm. they are undulating like this but think of a very complicated and long energetic structure mm. that changes shape in various ways mm. those are called the nadis and they're all inside our body mm. and uh, when these nadis get tied up with each other which is very easy to happen if you do not practice nadi shodhana mm. so there's a process in hanuman gada called nadi shodhana mm. hanuman nadi shodhana mm. okay there's a special nadi called hanuman nadi if you inflate that nadi all the other nadis will stay inflated mm. and they will not lose their shape mm. so there's no need for nadi shodhana if you can do hanuman nadi shodhana mm. so you just fill up the hanuman nadi with vayu pranavayu okay secret mm. place mm. nobody will teach you unless you deserve that kind of knowledge yes you can't learn it yeah. and then once you do that uh there is a very kind of uh, the whole body becomes just tamas becomes mm. dark mm. okay but there is bright activity inside which is very bright mm. from the darkness comes the light mm. darkness is the absence of light it's more fundamental than light light comes out of darkness and goes back into darkness mm. that's the universe that you're seeing it's come out of darkness goes back into darkness mm. darkness swallows everything okay so then you'll get that inner peace where you are like the cosmos chilled out and then there are these bright objects inside you all doing their own thing and because the hanuman nadi is balancing everything there starts to form a sukshma sharira those who can see can see one of hanuman's five heads will start to come around you in your sukshma sharira and you will become five headed with the practice of it if you can see some people can close their eyes and convert what they're feeling into visuals that's an also a valid way to see the subtle things some people can just change the range of their perception of frequencies and suddenly perceive a new frequency hmm. how do they do that it's by relaxing your eyes you relax your eyes you can see more more frequencies you shouldn't have any tension in your eyes you should make your eyes absolutely relaxed hmm. most people are carrying tension in their eyes all the time because you think with your eyes 
See, overthinking. This is, this is, overthinking is like running in a six meter balcony, a uh, full marathon in a f six kilometer balcony, 54 kilometers or 72 kilometers, whatever, in a six meter balcony. That's overthinking. Mm. Your thought is not going anywhere. Mm. It's just stuck. So when you do that, your eyes will get stuck in a spasm. Mm. The spasm doesn't allow you to see anything. Like even the visible frequencies of light you won't see. You'll come to a beautiful place like this mm. and all you'll see is why, my, why your you know, girlfriend or boyfriend has not replied to this text yet. That's what you'll see after you come here. How stupid are you? Very. Right? So people live in, with foolish priorities and that will start to change when you have something of value inside you called Prana Shakti. Prana is the real gold. Gold is not the real gold. Yeah. Prana should be valued as much as gold. But you know what people do? They value the gold that has come out of Prana. Mm -hmm. Instead of the Prana that can create 100 more pieces of gold like it. So, mm. prana creates, it's a creative energy, you should not lose it, you should conserve it. Mm. Conserve it enough, it becomes virya, you conserve it somewhere, it becomes vajra. Mm. See. Lightning inside your body. Mm. Virya is encouragement. Mm. Whatever is there to be done, you're like, you'll encourage yourself, you're like, yeah, let's do it. Mm. I'm going to have fun doing this too. Yeah. That is so rare in the world, people having fun doing what they're doing. Mm. No? Very few people are having fun doing what they're doing. Like, yeah. when you say, what does it mean when you say I'm at work? Just what does it normally mean, right? For us, it means being here. But yeah. what what does it normally mean? Like, I have work. I'm working right now, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, can you upgrade your work in this world? You can upgrade your work in this world mm. when you have the energy to do it. Mm. You have the power to do it. You'll get that power when you have knowledge. You'll get authority when you have knowledge. And then you can do what you want. But then, you know, people are busy saying that anyone who's, a, who's, who's got power has got it unfairly. Hmm. No. They have prana shakti. That's why they have power. Hmm. Okay? You'll, learn, you'll learn some respect for powerful people. People are not powerful because they don't have respect for powerful people. Mm. Ah. Everybody feels qualified to talk about powerful people. Mm. Whoever they may be. Yep. They're qualified. Like, like they know more than them. Some people were overjoyed that uh, they have studied more than Modi ji. Mm. Because he did uh, bachelor's in something and mm. it sounded fishy. Mm. So everybody took on to it. And they were feeling happy that they are studied more than Modi ji. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's living the bachelor's dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, see, Brahmacharya. So, it's so simple that when you understand that you have to respect people in power, no matter who they are. Because that's when you'll start understanding some of uh, how you can have power and you can cause the justice that you want in this world. Mm. But if you don't have power, you cannot cause the justice that you want in this world. Mm. Justice is not given to powerless people. Mm. Okay, So if you are really looking for justice, empower people and empower yourself. The empowered ones have justice by default. It can't be taken away from them. Mm. Empowerment is the ability to protect yourself mm. from everything. I mean, also to maintain dignity in everything. Mm. Like, everything is happening in a way that you would consider dignified. Mm. That can happen only when you have power. Otherwise, there will be lots of indignified, mm. undignified things that happen. Mm. Yeah. So, the next attribute was Mahavira. Mm. Uh, what does it signify? Look, a, a Veera is somebody who is brave. Mm. But whenever this word Maha comes, it's a transcendental quality. Like transcending death. Mm. And something like that. So, a Maha Veera means that um, 
somebody who who has access to encouragement beyond even gods someone who is encouraged by everyone is a veera hmm the you you want to have more veera you should get more and more encouraged not by yourself i mean also by yourself but not only by yourself you need encouragement from everyone so when you accumulate encouragement from gods um danavs and you know rakshas and everybody is encouraging anuman mm. mm. yeah. you know so that's why it's called a mahavira so that's mm. not a name to be adopted lightly mm. mahavira has specific meaning mm. that means the one who is encouraged by everyone mm. so he is a veera he has a courage to do anything because he is encouraged by everyone mm. we have to understand the relationship between encouragement and courage mm. that's why it's called encouragement otherwise it's fool hardiness if you do brave things without encouragement mm. it's fool hardy mm. you just got lucky perhaps mm. but it was a foolish thing to do mm. you know maybe you got lucky mm. but things could have gone really wrong mm. that's fool hardiness but can you live in such a way that can you have such an en- energy that people want to encourage you they want to encourage your existence can you do that Yeah, that's the magic, man. Hmm. That's the magic to being a veera, right? Hmm. Mahavira gets encouraged by everyone. So you want to be a veera, you get some encouragement in your life. Hmm. Don't know where to find it? Join our class. Hmm. Yeah. How can we use all these uh, names uh, to uplift not just ourselves but also uh, others and bring about the justice, like you said, uh, that we want? Uh, are there any techniques? How, where do where does someone start? Chiranjeev does not a technique. There's no ch- technique uh, associated with Chiranjeev, but there are some secrets which I can't reveal. Okay. What is the other one? He said Vajra. Vajrang Bali. Vajrang Bali. Just say Jai Vajrang Bali. Hmm. When you have to face a lot of uh, opposition, hmm. a lot of lightning, <laughs> hmm. you face it. gives you the strength to face it jai bajrang bali that's how we use that name as a war cry hmm ha ah, what else maruti 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 is a very good healing mantra to say to yourself hmm. so you say jai maruti nandan hmm. that's it that's what you say sorry jai maruti nandan Jai Marut Nandan, and uh, that will start restoring your health. Mm. It's one of those very powerful mantras. Mm. You just say Jai Marut Nandan, Jai Marut Nandan. Say it a few times, and really feel what's happening in your body. Before you say it, feel your body once. You can do it right now. You want to do it? Mm. Yes. Okay. So you can also do it. The audience, close your eyes and see how you're feeling right now. Ask yourself, on a scale of zero to ten, how stressed are you? And ask yourself, on a scale of zero to ten, how well are you? How well is your physical body? And remember this number. And ask yourself, on a scale of emotional wellness, how well are you? Zero to ten, where ten is like fully emotionally well, zero is not at all emotionally well. What is your number okay so i hope you got your three numbers now we'll do the sadhana then you can check your three numbers again all you have to say is jay marut nandan jay marut nandan jay marut nandan jay marut nandan let this mantra vibrate through your body when you say it jay marut nandan jay marut nandan jay marut nandan jay marut nandan Jai Marut Nanda. Okay, so we've done it around ten times, ten repetitions. Now you check your three numbers. How are they? Your stress level from zero to ten. What was it before? What is it now? You tell me, because the audience can't tell me. Ah, uh, it was four. Hmm. It's come down at hmm. least two notches. It's come down to two. Hmm. So your stress became half. Hmm. Okay. What about you? Did you do it? How did the stress level go? From from six to two. Yeah. Six to uh, like three. 
6 to 3, yeah, see, and then I was right about this, making a stress. So, you do it one more time, let's see how much it becomes, okay. Jai Marut Nandan, Jai Marut Nandan. You have to say it loud and feel it go through your body. Jai Marut Nandan, Jai Marut Nandan. Send that sound down your body. Jai Marut Nandan, Jai Marut Nandan, Jai Marut Nandan, Jai Marut Nandan, Jai Marut Nandan. And now you check your numbers, it would have come down even further. What is this? How can just saying Jai Marut Nandan change your body, right? How do you feel about emotional wellness before the two chantings and now? What what are your numbers? Doubled. Ah. Emotional wellness increased doubled. From what to what? Three to six. Three to six. What about you? Seven, eight. He says totally relaxed. Okay. Then what about uh, your, and what, what was the third one? Health. Health, mm -hmm. yeah. So, how well are you physically, yeah? physical wellness? Yeah, I'm feeling more health. How in seconds? Mm -hmm. What are the numbers? From 5 to 8. 5 to 8, what about you? Yeah, I had some uh, stomach issue because yesterday I ate something, it's gone. Mm -hmm. I'm not even feeling it. Mm. I don't know what I ate. Mm. Obviously something that didn't agree with my body mm. at that point. Also, I've been doing a lot of yoga and for the stomach. So, mm. so it was running and I was feeling queasy and all mm. that. You know, but after, after chanting this, I'm feeling like normal, like nothing happened. Mm. So that's how powerful this mantra is. Mm. Three of us chanted. Yeah, Hari, you and me, we chanted and then you see how good we're feeling. Yeah. What's to stop you from chanting this hundred times? If ten times can do this, hundred and eight times if you chant Jai Marat Nandan in the morning, mm. loudly, let your neighbors hear it and vibrate also. Mm. You know, why can't you chant this? I get up and make all sorts of sounds in my house. First, there is the <laughs> big... Uh, <laughs> Dumbru. Big dumbru. You need two hands to play that dumbru. Such a big dumbru I have. Dab, 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 dab. Okay? Wakes up the neighbors. Then I got a conch. After that I shot Jai Marut Nandan. And I shot lot more things. But people are okay. They are like, ah, thank God, thank God. They are feeling the vibration. Let your neighbors also feel the vibration. Okay, they like it. <laughs> a lot of people, like the neighbor next to me, he's Christian. And the neighbors on the other side, missionaries. They're having a good time yeah. with these vibrations, okay? So, it's not about religion, it's about fixing your Maruts inside. Marut is an actual God, a Vedic God. Mm. And when you speak with Vayu or Marut, uh, and you... Nandan also means to uh, show respect, mm. okay? Mm. So, it, it is also giving the message that you are respectfully uh, saying the praises of their son, Hanuman, mm -hmm. Marut Nandan. So the Maruts naturally kind of ease up and they get reminded of Hanuman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but this is not a scientific explanation. Mm -hmm. But this is what my Guru told me. Mm -hmm. And I've been practicing it ever since. And it works. And you can also practice. He's allowed me to share this with you. So go ahead and practice. Everybody, please practice this. Very powerful, okay? One. Next one is going to blow your mind. What's the next one? Mm. Covered Bajarang Bali? Ah. No, this is Maruti. Oh, Maruti We're talking yes. about Maruti. We, we, we covered Bajarang Bali. Did it? Oh, yeah. yes. yes. Bajarang Bali is when you need to get into a conflict situation oh, or whatever. Yes, yes. It's a war cry. Right. Ah. Think of it as a war cry. So, It'll protect you. Ah. Ah. Then the next one was Anjani. Anjaneya. Anjaneya. Anjaneya's ah. secret is very... It's very secret. Oh. Anjaneya's sadhana is very secret. Uh -huh. I can't teach it. Okay. Yeah. Then the next one was uh, Mahavira. Right? Mahavira. Ah, that's yes. the one. Mahavira. That's the one I which I said will blow your mind. Yes. If you ever feared any kind of spirits or stuff or energies that you've ever had in your life, or in if you have some old ancestral home where somebody committed suicide and they're hanging around, and you know that, and all these bhut bungalows, okay, mm. bhul bhulaya type places, mm -hmm. okay. You can go there and say, Mahavir, 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 three times. 
and it'll all clear out mm. for as long as you're there. Mm. But people are scared to say that because mm. they don't know the the power of this name. But you have to say it loud. Don't mm. Mahavir, Mahavir, Mahavir. You shouldn't be afraid to look stupid. Mm. Just say it loud, and there there will not be any negative feeling, mm. negative energies over there. Mm. basically stupid to call them energies they are beings mm. there are beings that are subtle bodies more subtle than yours you can't perceive it just like you can't perceive ultraviolet light mm. okay you know mosquito can perceive ultraviolet light mm. but you can't of course you can your eye is far more complicated than a mosquito's eye so you can perceive much more mm. right how do mosquitoes find you in the dark mm. they they seeing the ultraviolet light produced in your body that's why they're coming to you so if you're not getting bitten by mosquitoes it means you're not producing enough ultraviolet light mm. it's a health issue mm. that you not you don't get mm. <laughs> bitten by mosquitoes but nobody knows this because you don't understand light okay mm. so light and uh, its perception mm. is something if you practice it will come and then you'll be able to see all these mm. you know spirits and mm. beings that are around and they're not spirits they're just beings in a different body just like a squirrel you know you shouldn't react any more to them than you would to a squirrel mm. you get but you like what what you doing here mm. okay. you want to build boundaries over there is just shout mahavir three times mm. mahavir 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 that's it mm. and then you wait everything will come down mm. they if they they cannot agree with your energy they leave mm. and they won't come back mm. that's how powerful it is okay basically exorcism Yeah, exorcism. Like also, some people suddenly wake up in the night and they see some someone yeah. else is sitting next to them. All you have to do is don't wake up everybody else in the house. Say Mahavir, Mahavir, Mahavir. Even at this volume is enough. Mm. It should vibrate your body. Mm. Poof. Then you go back to sleep. Mm. Where did they go? They couldn't be in this energetic field. They left. Mm. They just cannot exist inside this energetic mm. field. of mahavir so that's that's how powerful it is yeah exorcism and lots of things man mm-hmm. like we don't pay attention to invisible beings for most of the stuff that's happening to you is happening through invisible beings mm-hmm. like the good stuff also and the bad stuff also mm-hmm. like who took care of our car as we came here mm-hmm. anything could have happened mm-hmm. but uh, you know invisible beings protect them i know who they are i know their names i know what offerings i make them because mm. they like to smell and eat certain things mm. like they can't eat but they'll smell mm. they take the smell of certain offerings mm. so i ask them what do you want to be offered and i offer them and they change what they want to be offered daily mm. you know people have made interaction with god into a cartoon right this is this is what will please hanuman what as will please him all the time mm. the, when he's in a mood for what as you give him what can you communicate with hanuman no i will give what as mm. maybe he's not in a mood for what as maybe he wants flowers today but do you know are you in that level of energy that you can communicate with a deity mm. most people are not mm. they don't have any perception of mm. deities or anything of the mystical world mm. So those who are interested, you mm. please start chanting Mahavir, and you'll start mm. perceiving also. I mean, you're already perceptive. That's why you need to chant Mahavir. <laughs> mm. So you can do it. Like get up in the morning, chant Mahavir three times as soon as you wake up. Before you sleep, chant Mahavir three times. Go to sleep. Mm. You can start from there, and then you can keep chanting in like in this volume, Mahavir, Mahavir, Mahavir. So if you're out outdoors, also you can do it. Nobody can hear you. Yeah. You just need to feel the vibration in your body. Mm. That's it. So you do that. This is another practice my guru has allowed me to share mm. with people, so that they can get rid of all these negativities. Right? Mm. People who are depressed are also usually some being is sitting on them, sucking up mm. all their energy. Right? Mm. Uh, and then, you know, a lot of artists can see it and they draw it also. Mm. <laughs> like in their mind's eye, they can see it. Okay? Mm. You can see that this being is sitting. You know, those yeah. those pishach kind of beings. Yeah. yeah. They sit on your shoulders and suck your blood from your neck, mm. but not your blood. They're taking your life force mm. out of your neck. And then you want to help them. You just say Mahavir, Mahavir, Mahavir. Whoo! And they'll be like, "Wow, I'm feeling so good. I don't know. I feel like I got blood back in my brain. Oh, what's happening? Mm. You know? You can help people too with this mantra, and you can do it for yourself too. You're like Mahavir, Mahavir, Mahavir. Boom! Mm. Everything goes away.
Right. Yeah, I did. And then? I could feel lightness on my <laughs> shoulder. Like All the energy sucking, yeah. sucking devices will get thrown off, you yeah. know. Uh, so, mm. yeah, I am grateful Mahathar Bhavaji allowed me to share this. Mm. Use it, please. Mm. There's no point learning it and not applying it. Yes. And if you are able to apply it, definitely you will come and learn more stuff from me. Mm. Uh, regarding misuse of uh, these uh, secret mm. techniques, mm. should one have something in mind so that we don't misuse it? That's the reason it's secret, so that you don't misuse it. So, you will never get to know it unless you deserve it. There's no power, there's no way to misuse Hanuman techniques. Mm. <coughs> Only those who deserve it will get it. So don't worry. If you got the technique, you deserve it. Just use it. Okay. Mm. So regarding the Gada mm. and teaching the Gada, mm. some of uh, the viewers are interested in uh, you know teaching it as well. Yeah, I mean, I would like you to talk to them and see if they just want to swing it around or they want to have real experience and spiritual growth with Hanuman as their Ishta Devata. Mm. That is my question. Because mm. I will not teach any secrets to people who want to swing others around mm. and just make Instagram videos mm. and act like there's some great... I don't know what man, Akshay Kumar lifted a gada so now everyone wants a gada. You know, mm. so stupid it is. It's not for everyone. Mm. It's for those who really are on that spiritual quest, who are hungry, mm. who are so hungry for Hanuman yeah, if they're like that, then yeah, let's teach them. Yep. But if they're not like that, it's, just, mm. it's okay. Watch another channel. Mm. Okay. Mm. So that's it uh, from me. I have no other questions. Uh, if you would like to ask some questions, uh, make sure that you comment below and we'll cover them in the next podcast. Uh, we'll be doing a few more episodes on Hanuman. Mm. And uh, uh, some of the uh, you know more specific qualities like the five-headed yeah. uh, uh, version of Hanuman yeah, that yeah. you mentioned, and uh, a lot more, uh, sure. and also derive some very like in-depth, uh, life-changing meanings from mm. uh, these these uh, characters, and rather than just making it some mythology or some. Marvel comics, Marvel, Marvel comics. comics. Yeah. Anuman is not Marvel comics, guys. Yeah. Don't be confused, okay? Mm. Anuman is our itihasa. Mm. He's our history. We have to know about it. What happened in the past? How did a being become immortal? Mm. No, we have to be curious about it. Mm. No, you just make him into another Thor. Like they made Thor already into a Marvel character. Yeah. <laughs> like, Anuman is not another Thor, okay? Yeah. No. Anyway. Yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in my next uh, episode. Thank you, Guruji. Yeah, thank you for watching to the end. If you got yes. till here, it makes me happy that you have interest in Hanuman. Jai Hanuman. Jai Hanuman.